Probably All right, like Jax I for the shy. Holy, the shy Jax. I feel like I haven't watched the shy play Jax like much at all. How many Jax teams does he have professionally? Right, zero in season 10, zero in season 11, and zero in season 12. Has he played any Jax ever? No Jax in season nine? No Jax in season eight? Is this his first professional Jax game? He played one Jax game in season seven. Yeah, all the time, he has one Jax game. Almost 500 games played in competitive, one Jax game. And the Rakan from from on which is actually one of his best champions even though he runs it down sometimes so right, it should be a pretty interesting game and obviously leeson still being picked kind of an issue to me i think that leeson is just not good on this patch but i think he gets slightly buffed in um in the next one so maybe we'll see more of it then you know, you've been playing the lane well you have a cs lead i mean even though it looks like the cs is even it's actually like he's got a lead considering um how many minions are pushing into him and then you like set up a pink ward and the support just comes and takes your pink ward from you I think they win this hard. This is not a good 2v2 for Weibo. Has the needles gone through? Ooh, clean. Clean from fucking way, bro. Way is pretty fucking cracked, at least, man. He's pretty cracked. Just get him off Volibear and you're good. And now both teams. Both teams going to posh up towards topside, but aren't you a vision? On is on Rakan, but Hex Flash exists and Ming gets straight onto him. Mm, they don't have Lee Sin Q though here. Oh, That's gonna be okay, they get a they get a reset for the Viego. This is looking really, really good for um really good for Weibo so far. Stunned here. Oh my god, they're all dead? Or no? Yeah, they're all dead. Oh my god, it's a pentakill. It's a pentakill for SOFM. It's a pentakill for SOFM at nine minutes, bro. Weibo does not care. Oh my god, he didn't get it. Oh, that would have been like one of the earliest pentas I've ever seen. I actually forgot how good Jahu was on Corky and Spring. It was one of the ways that RNG was just winning games because RNG did not look good at the beginning of, of Spring. And yeah, they just played a lot of... Uh, uh, they, they just won a lot of games where they put him on Corky and they just scaled. Oh, but it was all a bait and Ming forced to flash. If you're a support who likes to go get vision by yourself, just play Rakan. As on once again. All right, on is just one shot. <laughs> Are you sure? He wasn't even getting vision. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, yeah, I mean, they don't use any major cooldowns for this though, because they like they were never gonna use flash. All right, so they have package one minute until uh, or sorry, one second until Drake. So this is where you see the standoff coming in. Wade doesn't have flash for this. Weibo, Weibo is really strong. Still in position to try and contest on body blocking for one bung. The rockets coming out. Mingo. Oh, they just kick him out. Well played from RNG. Now they don't need to fight. Oh my God, Jahu, you are a psychopath. Onto the back line here. Angel. I mean, he had stopwatch for it. God damn, that's an aggressive way to play that. Jesus, man. Angel with the Emperor's divide and then slides across the lane to escape. Okay, Jahu. All right, so RNG is actually not positioning to contest the Drake because they don't have package. So they're going to Baron instead. And they're going to try to leverage Corky's base now into Baron. They're going to give third Drake just because of package timer. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, Jahu just bought a, a GA. So he could go for the Psycho package again. They have Gwen and Corky on the flank here. So this is interesting. RNG's just looking for a turn. They're just looking for a turn and a fight with the package. This is their bread and butter. But Xiaohu getting chased down here. Fong Fong trying to escape on. Hey. Pretty well played so far. And will they actually turn onto the Baron because of this? Looks like they are. Damn, bro. Nah, RNG is like pretty f***ing good. <laughs> They're pretty all right at League. They just make some like really interesting decisions. Some really intellect decisions. And they just finish it while he's seeing the jungle. Dude, they've been so good around objectives again. I mean, Viego, bro, he's got a GA. Wait, wait, SFM, he's got a GA, buddy. Oh, he crit. Oh, Angel's at one HP. Oh, Gala is trying to get him. Okay, he gets him. Damn. Damn the RNG Baron. Holy. The decision to give third Drake because you're not going to have package for it and go towards Baron. And then now they end up getting third Drake anyway. One shot the, the Rakan. I mean, but this is the reason why Nautilus has been considered a hard counter to Rakan for a while. Uh, he messed up the combo. Angel missed. Uh, but I mean, this is like pure desperation. The game's already over pretty much. 
as they'll find three kills off the back of a whiff. They literally just don't even need a top laner. You can put whatever top laner into this team. I mean, Bin was pretty much useless on this team anyway. They're literally just playing without him. So now they're just like, ah, you know what? We don't need Breathe. We don't need Bin. Like, we just play the game and our top laner can just kind of do whatever he wants. All right, so the shy on Jax again. I mean, his lane phase did not look super good into Breathe. Looked like Breathe was way more comfortable on the Gwen. Angel on the Sandra countered Ari. I'm pretty sure this would be locked. Makes sense into what they're playing into. Okay, so the Philios into Jinx Tom. They they took the Jinx Tom from T1. Ends up being a Philios Renata versus Jinx Tom. Okay. Wow, they just combo it. Looks really nice. Yeah, really well played. I mean, this is why people take cleanse, right? That's why that's why people take cleanse, because they just get one shot if you don't. Uh, they're, they're just like, they're stalling out, though. They need to make a decision here. Just do the herald, just finish it. Both junglers, smite available. Way doesn't have upgraded smite just yet. His smite is only going to do 400 damage, and it might not even come off in the first place. Gobbled up by Ming. Herald taken by Oh my god, they waited too long, and now there's ultis from from Weibo, and Weibo's going to win the fight. Big autos in Damn. As well. Chases onto Xiao Hu. Way As of them so far ahead. And they, they lost Harold here. Ming is dead too. Kill. Goes in onto Ming. Finds the resets again. It's All right. Well, game is looking time. pretty f***ing doomed now. Dude, it's trick. crazy how RNG just was just simply again, better than T1 at Harold situations. And then they just Weibo still go back to LPL and lose Harold to every Xiao single team. Does have flash, but still should go down. Yeah, this is looking like another kill. Is it going to be? I mean, it's four kills. That one looks like the best team in LCK again. I mean, I, I I think Dom one is going to be really close. I didn't even think that Dom one was necessarily going to be better than D one. I just think that it'll be very close. I can't believe that that's like that was such a con controversial thing to say. A Dom one with Nuggery could potentially be close. They would they would contend with T one. Okay, the shy dies here. This is the fight that could get RNG back into the game. They're able to deny the reset. It would be huge. Oh, Xiaohu missed the, the recall of his uh, Q. And fight this one out, but it's two v three and SFM still playing very aggressive in this one. The oh, but they missed Waze Q right for, right before this. And now Angel back into the fray once more. No ultimates on either side, but SFM is going to get the reset. Way low on HP. SFM chasing for more. Did Creed is one HP. On go <laughs> My God, this is just a complete fist fight. Third Drake. Let's see if there's actually a fight here. I mean, I think that. Weibo is so much stronger for this fight. I think it's really, really difficult to, to play it. Also, you don't even have Gwen ult if Gwen somehow like walks down and participates into it and Jax has TP advantage. Like, you can't even fight this, bro. Can't even try to steal it, I don't think. Oh my god, he's trying. Okay. He's trying to suicide steal it. I guess that was the call. And they really have to one shot. So I don't know. You can't win this. It's just doomed. Oh, Angel misclicked. Oh, Angel misclicked. He tried to flash R. Uh, and he ended up flash R himself. Oh, God. That was a free kill on Ari. Free reset. Could have probably snowballed the whole fight off that. Oh, the kickback. Oh, lean from way and they actually get the kill they get the kill and they get the shutdown onto jinx that's huge yeah i mean the thing the problem here is that it's soul for way and i don't even know if way if uh rng can fight remember he has his ult they have no uh, uh, they have no ult on everyone except for tom kench 200 years of game design. And then Viego still is ult, so I think it's really, really hard for RNG. I'm pretty sure they should lose the game here. Maybe they can outplay somehow. Let's see it. Okay, Wei actually ends up just winning the, the Drake, but I mean, the fight should still be favored towards uh, Weibo. And boy, will he find the Ming goes down. It's a great kick from Wei. Can they escape? Shahu with a charm as well. Good speed on the Ari, but the Shy wants more. The Counter Strike available. There's a reset. All right, that should be Baron for Weibo. I mean, Weibo's really, really far ahead. Yeah, it's gone. Breathe would have had to walk in way earlier. Maybe he can actually get something going. Oh my god. Okay, the shy gets the reset. Mine doesn't matter. Oh, he actually got him with red buff. It was really good eat then. And the Gale Force in from Hanfong. Kill on to Gala. Ming's dead too. All right. Do we get three games of this? I'm down. I'm down. I feel like you don't have a way into the fight. 
Ah, uh, this is gonna be the uh, the final fight, isn't it? Okay, good ulti from Ming. Shai gets the kill. Yeah, I mean, this is impossible. Zhao is completely useless in this game, and Jinx just doesn't have the damage to 1v5. And even if he did have the, have the damage to 1v5, he's playing against a... Uh, he's playing against a Jax, so it's super tough. Alright, just chase him. Not gonna give him an opportunity to get Baron here. Weibo could just stop for a second, and they could stop Wei's heart as well. All so right, well, it's a formality at this point. Arya is a complete non-factor, and Angel, and just gonna Angel side, is though, in there. Has the stopwatch to keep himself alive here and use the ultimate already. The rest of the team moving forward. Wang Pong has so much damage and RNG just falling apart. The seems here so far behind, and Weibo. Finally All right, GG. We go game three, boys. We go game three. Ten minutes straight. They'll get themselves a game, and they'll give us a three-game series. All right, all right. I'm down. I'm down. We'll get into this game in a second. I'm gonna use the restroom, and we will. Yeah, we'll be in game in 50 seconds. It seems like Ezreal Karma just always gets the push on Lucian Nami, though. And makes sense, all right. Like Karma just seems like the type of champion that should be able to just monster Q away and get get the push. Yo, breathe. What are you doing, brother? Oh wow! Oh wait! Oh my goodness! Breathe. Oh! Oh my God! He's killing him! Oh my God! Breathe won the one v one. What? That's the most. That is the most aggressive thing you'll ever see, bro. I love this fucking region. It is going to be that standoff, but Shahu will be able to just play the way alongside. Oh my way. God, that was a that was a kill, I think, from Gala. He got the flash forward. On already took such a heavy trade coming out from Gala, who really didn't lose any HP in return, and you have the sustain. He knows that On has no flash. I think he might just go into On here. Oh my oh, wow, God, dude, he just didn't think he was there. Oh my God, he's actually going to find dead. On in the brush. That's going to be Red Buff burning away. Oh man, the level and three dive to tier two. Ward here, Herald down in the mid lane. Yeah, RNG gonna try and force him off this So now is the Juani ult, it doesn't actually matter that much if you miss it, because it's like a massive so zone, like a massive he slow zone. Gala got ulted by um the Shy. And he just loses he loses the 1v1. Yeah, the Shy just protobelt and ghosted at him and just killed him. Alright, interesting. Wei gets a reset though. Breathe is on to Huan Fong. Huan Fong is just gonna die here. Trying to chase him down. The slow is there. Is that so FM? Probably should have given him a reset there. Maybe not. Oh, oh my god, the, the, the tomb didn't get didn't get to uh SFM yet. Bro, this whole time the shy just like peaced out and just started farming mid. Respect. Damn the damage from uh from Gala onto the Shy is crazy. <laughs> All right, well, the Shy is in there. He's trying to kill Wei in the death realm. The Shy going forwards towards Xiao Hu and Wei here, but he does not have that much HP. I think someone's in the death realm. Definitely worth it, bro. I've been enjoying these co streams a lot. I feel like LPL has been so good this split. It's just been enjoyable every day. Like, every day I've been happy with it. Xiao is just getting ready to ult himself immediately afterwards. Wait, did he not do any damage there to Angel? Did it just. Wait, what just happened? Or was that still during the death realm where he ulted? And now on I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I mean, the game's over. And the rest of the uh, there's no way the Sonic Wave is going to last long enough, so RNG trying to pivot the fight. All right, the Shy put Jahu in the death realm again. Gala is 1 HP. Gala is dead. Gala is dead. It's winnable. Actually, it's unironically winnable for uh for Weibo. Oh my God, the double poke. They ended up just landing. I think it, I think it was a, a big one just snuck through and it hit Gala in the face and suddenly the fight was just over. Uh, Angel is just dead. Oh wait, Angel is just dead and then they just lose the game. They just lose. Wait, they lose what? Ooh, they just TP'd on that. top, Last so Breeze just TP'd top, top with Wei, and they just killed so the Corky, and now they're just Breed. completely f***ed. Uh, Damn, this bro, the Krug the Ward. This is the moment. Can Weibo find the 50-50 that they need to stay in the game? The Shy, the shy is on to Ming. Ming, oh, Ming is dead. Row, he's like, Sonic, I'll just kill the support. Why not? This is just cyberbullying from him. They're just he's keeping Baron aggro this whole time. 
and takes half of their HP on They actually are just keeping SFM Baron aggroed and they're just trying to... Into the pit here. Yeah. Baron just Stop SFM. Time. One Fong dealing damage onto Shahu. Ooh, they didn't actually get the reset here. Okay, Corky's gonna be here. They're not They're not able to finish Baron, but I mean, at least they didn't flip it. They're trying to not eat too much poke. Actually use their Ocean Soul. So they're waiting for Shahu's ult. RNG's just trying to wait for Shahu's ult here. Oh my god, they're gonna go before Shahu's ult? Okay. With the stun as well. Wait, jumps over the wall. Alright, so, so Breathe actually line. does end up getting ulted by the Shy here, but Great the Shy ults at like 200 RNG. HP, so the he just dies anyway. And now, okay, Flash oh, Gale Force. E Flash Gale Force right into Corky's face. Kill him. No, and, now RNG and now they can just chase him. And they're just and ignoring and everyone and just getting the reset by going on to On. GG, bro. They just got outplayed. And GG. Out of the replay, we don't even know what happened here, but it's all a formality at that point. Once you have Elder on the team that has Soul, and you're going to get a free Baron, the game's going to be over. Wait, Wade just actually snuck into the bush right there, and the Shy didn't see him. Because the Ward is actually in the real realm, and he was in the death realm. <laughs> so he just tricked him. He just he was stealth near the wall, and then he just quickly walked into the bush. All right, RNG wins one of the matches of the week versus Weibo. Takes it 2-1. Pretty good series. Was enjoyable for sure.